Nurses and caregivers with Palomar Health are protesting what they call unsafe working conditions and a staffing ratio waiver. Nurses are also concerned about the commingling of COVID-19 patients. News aide's Teresa Sardina has more on that and what Palomar Health is saying tonight. Barbara Lee, I spoke with the CEO of Palomar Health. She says the chief nursing officer is working with nurses discussing flexibility, safety, and planning. Should we get into another situation where the surge continues to increase? The nurses do have a right to be concerned. Palomar Health nurses and caregivers held a conference Friday demanding the hospital to prioritize patient safety, wanting answers to nurse to patient ratio. Caregiver Bonnie Moody contacts News 8. Her 62-year-old colon cancer client is worried about commingling between nurses and patients and requested to be released from Polymer Health Thursday night. The problem is, is that they need, to, they need to not put the patients on the same area, you know, on the same unit, uh, because the thing is, is that they don't even have them in negative pressure rooms that the nurses walk from a, a COVID patient, take off their PPE, and then walk into the oncology room. Diane Hansen, president and CEO of Polymer Health, tells News 8 about the concerns addressed. I think the particular issue at hand is in regards to a 12-bed unit at our smallest facility in Poway. Hansen says it's an intensive care unit and Palomar Health received a waiver from the California Department of Public Health to allow placing of intermediate care level patients in that unit. Palomar Health has two hospitals, 288 beds in Escondido, the waiver focusing on the Poway Hospital, 107 beds, 12 beds in the ICU unit. The current nurse to patient ratio is two to one, two patients, one nurse. The waiver will allow three to one, two mid-level patients and one ICU patient, one nurse. One of the allegations was that we were mixing COVID and non-COVID patients, and that's absolutely false. Hansen says they're doing everything they can to ensure they're isolating COVID-19 patients and protecting healthcare workers. What I'm disappointed most about is the vocal few that are continuing to try to paint the picture that we are doing anything except um, doing our best to be as prepared as possible. To learn more about how Palomar Health is addressing patient safety, we'll have that at CBS8.com.